Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to rewrite a given quadratic expression to a perfect square. So the very first thing we are going to do is look at this given expression, set it equal to zero. So why we are doing this thing? We are just pretending that it is equal to zero. This trick is going to make our job a lot easier. So the next step I want you to do is just make sure that you have only x variables on the left hand side. That means this negative one that is non x that is a constant must go on the other side. So I can write negative 5x square minus 6x equals to when you move this negative one on the other side become positive one. That's the very first step. Now I want you to look at the leading coefficient of x square, which is negative five. I want you to factor that one out on the, this left hand side. If I factor this one out, negative five, we are ended up with simply, okay, among these two, this is gonna be x square plus six over five, x isn't it equals to one okay if you are not sure you just distribute it and you're going to get the same thing at the end now the next step is i want you to look at the the coefficient of x which is six over five i want you to write down six over five somewhere here i'm going to write it over here and now the next step is I want you to multiply this one by 1 over 2. Multiplying by 1 over 2 is same as dividing by 2. Let's simplify this one. If you simplify this one, that is going to give you this 2 and 6 crosses out. That's going to give you 3 over 5. So far so good. And then the last step is I want you to square this quantity. So this is what we got over here. This is the stuff we're going to write it over here. See how I'm going to do it. So negative 5 times, I want you to write down x squared plus 6 over 5 x. They are already there. Now I'm going to add this quantity plus 3 over 5 squared minus I'm gonna since we added it I'm gonna subtract 3 over 5 square as well and then simply this bracket close equal to 1 so far so good now the next thing is I want you to just simply focus on this part only the one that I'm gonna circle that one this represents a complete square we are going to use this well-known formula to put it in a perfect square form. So a plus b squared equals 2a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So I can write this one over here as you can see how I'm going to do it. Negative 5 still outside. This thing could be written as x plus 3 over 5 complete square so you can see this thing this thing can be written as this one using this quad this formula over here by the way if you are not sure where this is coming from this x showed up right up here this quantity showed up right up here and then this plus showed up over here you don't have to worry about this one and then we have a minus over here, this turns out to be how much? 9 over 25. And then you put down bracket close equal to 1. Now the next step, I want you to just simply go ahead and distribute this negative 5 with both of them. So that is going to become negative 5 times x plus 3 fifth square minus 5 times negative 9 over 25 equals to 1. So far so good. So let's move on 
a little bit more further I'm gonna write it down as over here negative 5 times x plus 3 over 5 square this over here let's multiply negative and negative become positive 5 and 25 reduces to 9 over simply 5 equals to 1 now next step I want you to move this one on the other side so we are going to have negative 5 times x plus 3 fifth square and then plus 9 over 5 when you move this one on the other side becomes negative 1 equal to 0 now let's focus on this quantity right up here I just copied that one right up here I'm gonna simplify over here so one could be written as 1 over 1 to make it a fraction now we're gonna simplify it by using a crisscross method so let's cross, uh, let's cross multiply 9 times 1 is gonna be a 9 minus whatever this sign minus 1 times 5 is 5 divided by 5 times 1 is you multiply them 5 so that is gonna give you 4 fifth so this is what I'm gonna write down over here minus 5 times x plus 3 over 5 square and then plus 4 over 5 equal to 0 our final step is if you look at this 0 let's disregard this 0 we no longer needed it so we're gonna focus only on this left hand side so negative 5 times x plus 3 over 5 square plus 4 fifth represents our perfect square so thus negative 5x square minus 6x minus 1 can be rewritten as a perfect square like you can see over here and that is our answer and here is your assignment can you rewrite this given expression as a perfect square on your own you can give a try you can pause the video Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.